So when it comes to water quality and water quantity, I would say in the past, engineers have often been trying to overcome the forces of nature. So we're trying to create systems that will battle directly against the way a system might naturally trend towards. And I would say that now, in particular with biological and agricultural engineering, we're embracing natural solutions, so trying to understand how can we use our understanding of both engineering principles, but also the biology and the ecology and agronomy of these different systems to actually design engineered systems that integrate well with the environment. Because what we're finding is that often when you try to fight against the forces of nature, you fail spectacularly. And so if we can actually come up with strategies that allow for us to have systems that are engineered but also well received by the environment, we're more likely to have higher resiliency to different types of future change. So I think that biological and agricultural engineering is uniquely positioned to really address some of these grand challenges related to natural resources management because of the way that we're embracing both the biology and the engineering principles of these systems. So one thing that's unique about biological and agricultural engineering is that we're taking aspects of other core engineering disciplines like mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, civil engineering, but we're putting them in the context of managing natural resources and addressing grand challenges related to providing humanity with food, water, fiber, and energy. And in particular, we have a really strong focus on sustainability in this department, so how do we use resources more sustainability while still using principles from these different facets of engineering like mechanical, electrical, and civil. Um, but we're putting them in a really applied context and in a way that we're directly addressing many of the challenges of today and tomorrow.